For dinner tonight, I'm making slow cooker jambalaya. I am so excited about this recipe. I've been craving some type of Cajun dish and this sounds amazing. So we're gonna get this started. It's about 7.30 in the morning, but we're gonna get this into our slow cooker so it can cook all day long. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some shrimp. This is a one pound package. I'm actually going to use this entire bag of shrimp. I omitted the chicken. I'm just gonna do shrimp and sausage. So I'm gonna do this whole bag. Some minced garlic diced tomatoes you'll need some rice whatever rice you choose a green bell pepper onion celery some seasoning you'll need some oregano it also calls for bay leaves which i don't have so i'm omitting that and then creole seasoning which i don't have but i'm just going to replace that with the Adax Original Red. This is my favorite seasoning. As you guys know, it's a nice clean seasoning. This one does have a little bit of a kick, so it's a great replacement for Creole seasoning. No salt, all natural, no MSG, clean, clean, delicious seasonings. I love these because there's no salt. So it's great before weigh-in, great if you watch your salt, but it does not lack in flavor at all. If you're interested in Dax, I do have 10% off and free shipping. I'll put that here on the screen for you guys. And they have over 20 seasonings, including a brand new ranch. That is amazing. So definitely check out Dax. You guys know this is a staple in my house. So I'm going to sub the Creole for the original red. And then you'll also need salt and pepper and sausage. So because I'm not using chicken, I'm going to use four of these Trader Joe's organic sweet Italian chicken sausages. It should be really good. So that's everything for the recipe. I'm going to get the green pepper and the onion and celery chopped up and then we'll put it all together in the slow cooker. All right, so we're ready to get the slow cooker going. So in my bowl here, I have the chopped up celery, green pepper, onion, sausage, and shrimp. And I went ahead and just defrosted my shrimp. These ones come deveined, no tail, so it makes it really, really easy. But make sure you remove tails and veins if you buy the, that type of a shrimp. So all my food essentially is in this one bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my crock pot. It's really simple. Everything is going to go into the crock pot. So it's very easy. There's no mess. Super quick dinner. So we're gonna go ahead and toss all the good stuff in the crock pot. And then we are going to add 28 ounces of diced tomatoes. These are the organic fire roasted. You could just use regular diced tomatoes. This just happened to be what I had on hand. So I wanted to use those up. And I'm gonna give it a quick stir in between each item I'm adding to the crock pot. And that's just gonna make sure that everything is nice and stirred together. I'm so excited for this, you guys. I can't even begin to tell you. And then I have one cup of that organic white rice. And then to that, I'm going to add my Dax Original Red. Make sure you guys are checking out Dax. Seriously, best seasoning ever. This one is a little bit spicy. We don't do spicy. I do it better than my husband. So I'm gonna limit the amount that I put in just so it's not too spicy. I'm also going to add oregano. Now you can add bay leaves like the original recipe if you have those. Unfortunately, I don't have those. I should buy them. I just never even think about adding them to my cart when I'm grocery shopping. And then of course, we're gonna pop in some salt and pepper. And I'm gonna put in a hefty amount only because we're not adding any broth or anything else that has salt to this dish. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and add a hefty amount of pepper. And last but not least, we have some minced garlic. I'm just going to go ahead and pour some in. And then we're going to give this a, another stir. 
And that's it, you guys. It's super, super simple. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a cup of water as well. Now, I did not follow the directions. The directions has you kind of cook things separately because they're using chicken. I didn't add chicken, so I decided to go ahead and add everything to the crock pot at once. I am going to put this on low. I'm gonna keep my eye on it. And if I feel like I need a little more water to make sure the rice gets cooked through, but the jambalaya stays thick, then I will definitely add more water. So I'm gonna put this on low for about three hours hours I'll check it and then I'll pump it back to low or to high depending on how it's cooked through but this is going to be delicious so here is my breakfast for today you guys saw this last week in my what I eat in a day it was so good and so filling I decided to have it again so I kind of did a fun spin on avocado toast so the base of my toast is this Ezekiel 49 pita pocket these are only two smart points and 100 calories for this whole entire pita pocket it has such good ingredients. So I go ahead and just warm it up in the microwave or in a pan for a few seconds. I topped it with 70 grams of avocado and some of the everything but the bagel from Trader Joe's and then one egg on top. And then today for some extra protein, I'm really trying to hit my protein goal every day. Instead of fruit, I'm going to do this good culture cottage cheese with fruit. That way I'm getting the best of both worlds. This is so good, you guys. It's three grams of sugar, 100 calories, but it has 15 grams of protein. They're so good. I love them. So I'm going to do this for three smart points instead of fruit. Two for the pita makes five. And this is four points worth of avocado. So that's nine smart points. And I'll put the calories here on the screen for you guys. And of course, you guys know that eggs are zero. So this is breakfast. It's kombucha time. It's 10 a.m. I like to have this between breakfast and lunch. Kind of satisfies me if I'm feeling a little bit snacky. So it is 50 calories for the bottle and three smart points. And then I'm having water. And I forgot to show you guys this morning. This is my fifth one of these since I woke up. So yay me on the water. Isn't this cup super cute? So this, you guys, is from Coffee Over Cardio. So the same company that I buy my coffee from, all those cute shirts. I'll link it down below for you guys. You can use my discount even on these cute little cups. They have several of them. Love it. Keeps my water nice and cold. So I'm going to sip on my kombucha and on my water. Hey guys, excuse my appearance. This is the after 4th of July look, but I thought I would hop on really quick and let you know that I'm gonna insert some pictures here from 4th of July. Now, if you're on my Facebook group or in my 90 day summer challenge, you already know that I stayed within my goal as far as calories go over the 4th of July. So that was super exciting. So we had a little get together with a couple friends at our house. We had a fire. We took the dogs down to the river. They swam. It was really, really fun. So I'm just going to share with you some pictures just so you can kind of see how our 4th of July went. So enjoy. <laughs> It's lunchtime and it's another day of salad. This is one of my very favorite salads. We actually had this leftover from our barbecue last night. I made it for everybody and they loved it. So I have a couple cups of the power greens from Costco for zero, strawberries for zero, snap peas, green onions for zero. I have one ounce of full fat feta cheese for three smart points. I have three of these, which you guys know I love, the Kala Power New Chick on the Block. These are the spicy-ish. Now these are too spicy for me unless they're in a salad. If they're in a salad, it's perfect. So I have three of those for three smart points. One tablespoon of sunflower seeds for one. And then over here, I made up my famous dressing. It's one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, one teaspoon of avocado oil, one teaspoon of mustard, a little salt and pepper. You mix it up and it's two smart points and it is so good, especially with this chicken 
salad with the strawberries. It's amazing. So my salad is a total of nine smart points and I will put the calories here on the screen for you. I get a lot of questions on where I buy these. You can find them at really any grocery store. They're in the freezer section, generally with the healthy food. So in the health food area, but I've also heard that you can find them in the rest of the chicken, the regular chicken area. So you just got to look around your store, but I love them. So yeah, nine point delicious salad. Is it time for lunch for you? Okay, when mommy's done with her salad, you guys can have some green beans, okay? Okay? You need to wait too, till I'm done, okay? And then we'll have green beans for everyone. Green beans for all. So for dessert after lunch, I'm having some smart sweets. I'm kind of craving something sweet after the spiciness of that salad. So these are the smart sweets, sweet fish. I pulled them out so you guys can see. That is how many you get. That's a lot, and these are big. I mean, they're big fish. So you get this entire bag, all of these fish for three smart points. So that's the size of them, they're so good. Three grams of sugar. Smart Sweets did just reformulate, so they actually took out some of the ingredients that were kind of questionable and decided to sweeten with allulose, which is a naturally derived sugar from figs and raisins. So I like it, it doesn't affect my stomach. There's actually zero sugar alcohols in Smart Sweets, so they're pretty clean when it comes to candy. So I like that, it's plant-based, a good source of fiber, flavored naturally and free from artificial colors and sweeteners. So the entire bag is 90 calories and three some mark points. You don't get any protein, unfortunately, but you do get quite a dose of fiber. So if you're fiber sensitive, you probably only want to eat one bag a day because it does give you a ton of fiber. So this is going to be dessert. And then of course I still have water let's give the dogs some green beans but yeah this is my dessert all right everybody it's time for beans are you gonna get up and come get this bud yeah okay oh kind of all right we're gonna slither here you go he is so lazy like he will not get up for his beans but he's right here there you go all right bud couple more good boy all right little lou couple more Good job, baby. Look what's here in Perfect Foods. I've been getting this every week, you guys. I'm loving it. It's either once a week or every two weeks. So basically, if you don't know what Imperfect Foods is, it is a company that helps eliminate food waste. So you can buy great products, not just food, but groceries in general. You're gonna see here in my box that I don't just have produce. I actually have lots of good food. It helps eliminate food waste, so the cost is way less expensive than your grocery store. So let's jump into my box. You can see here how it is so well packaged. And under this piece of cardboard here is some ice. So everything stays nice and cold. This has actually been out on my porch for a while and it is cold. So let's take a look at what I picked up this week. So first I grabbed, cause this was a great price and I thought this would be really good for a dinner. This is the Essential Bakery Take and Bake Garlic Bread. It is fully seasoned and pre-slice it is organic it's 160 calories for two ounces or one eighth of the loaf of course i'll put the points here on the screen for you pretty decent ingredients everything is organic so i got that bread and i thought how easy would that be for a quick weeknight dinner and speaking of bread i also decided to pick up a loaf of angelic bakery seven grain sprouted bread sprouted to delight and we know that sprouted bread is always the best but look at the calories you guys 60 calories per serving now the ezekiel's 90 so take a look at the ingredients they're also really really good actually i don't see anything in there that is questionable it's oh there's natural flavor two percent or less of natural flavor i can deal with that but i'm excited for this bread i'm gonna throw this in my freezer i like to keep sprouted bread in the freezer it lasts longer Ooh, look at all this good stuff i also grabbed this roth buttermilk blue cheese crumbles this was such a great price and you guys know i love my blue cheese so i had to pick that up i like to have that in my salads i also grabbed isn't it crazy kombucha so they had kombucha as an option for this week's box so this is the hibiscus refresher this is the revive so it looks like it is 45 calories per bottle because it's 30 calories for eight ounces one and a half servings per container 
I love kombucha, as you guys know. I've actually never tried the Revive brand, so I'm excited. And then I also grabbed these True Story Organic Sweet Italian Chicken Sausage. You guys saw me haul the True Story Hot Dogs from Trader Joe's. Those were, I think, $5. This was less than $3. These are organic, and there is the nutritional information. Of course, points will be on the screen. Really perfect ingredients in this brand so i'm excited to have those it's grilling season so the more hot dog type things the better and then down at the bottom i'm really excited for this too i picked up this essential baking artisan thin crust pizza so there is two crusts per pack it's organic it's non-gmo you can have one third of the crust for 150 calories of course i have the points here for you guys there is your ingredients perfect ingredients they even use extra virgin olive oil so i am excited we're going to do a pizza night that is partially why i grabbed that pizza sauce in my last grocery haul from trader joe's let's see what else do we have oh before we get into the produce i grabbed another bottle of the forager organic dairy free half and half this stuff is awesome i got this in my last imperfect foods box and i'm loving it it is so creamy and it's literally 20 calories for two tablespoons so love that and down here oh yeah that's right i forgot i picked this i got a pound of the organic mary's ground turkey in 93 7. so i was excited that was really a fan fantastic price so i had to pick that up and then I've seen these at the store and I decided to grab them in this box because they were really cheap. These are the Fontina snacking cheeses. So one of these little cheeses, it looks like it's 70 calories. This is full fat cheese. So I'm here for that. So I thought this would be great for my husband's lunches or for a little good bit of protein in the afternoon. And everything else is produce. So I picked up another organic mango because my last one was so freaking good i think i actually got two. Oh yeah i got two it was the best mango i've literally ever had so i grabbed two of those i also got a sweet potato because it's hard to find just individual organic sweet potatoes in my area so i grabbed that and then my husband's been liking to take carrots and ranch in his lunch so these are just some organic rainbow baby carrots so good and so pretty and then i loved my brussels sprouts last time so this time i got three bags so that i can have these as a side dish my husband doesn't like brussels sprouts but i love them so i'll have that as part of like a lunch meal prep i went ahead and picked up a big bundle beautiful bundle actually of green leaf lettuce this is organic lettuce this looks really good. So that's for salads or sandwiches. And this was less, I want to say this was like 50 cents. And look how beautiful it is. And last but not least, I picked up another cantaloupe because the last cantaloupe I got from my Imperfect Foods box was delicious. So yeah. Oh, and I'll show you guys. Here at the bottom, you can see underneath this piece of cardboard, the box is really well put together. There's a huge ice pack. So everything stays cold. I mean, it can sit out on your porch for a while. So I love that I'm helping to eliminate food waste and the prices are so good. The produce is awesome. All the other good stuff that you can get new things to try. So this is this week's box. I do have $10 off your first order. It's not an affiliate link. Anybody who signs up with Imperfect Foods can have a link for $10 off to share with friends. So you're my friend. So I'm going to share my $10 off link with you. That is down in the description box. So join me in helping to el eliminate food waste, support Imperfect Foods. I'm so excited. All right, it is 2.30 and I'm going to have a protein shake. This will tide me over until dinner. Today I'm feeling some Reese's, some Reese's vibes. So we're gonna make a mock Reese's shake. Now I've shown this, I believe on Instagram and also on my Facebook group, but not here on YouTube. I don't think. This is my favorite way to have a protein shake because it is so indulgent and sweet and delicious like I'm having a milkshake, but it is chocked full of protein. It's low point. Oh, I'm so excited. So in my magic bullet cup here, I have all of the ingredients for this Reese's shake. So what it is, is one frozen banana, 
I have one cup of this Great Value Unsweetened Almond Milk. You can use whatever nut-based milk or regular milk that you want. I have one scoop of my Live Well Plant Protein. This is in the cacao, which is essentially the chocolate. It has 17 grams of complete protein, 16 grams of amino acids, to only two grams of sugar. It is clean. This is, no lie, the cleanest protein powder you're going to be able to find. It is one smart point per scoop, one point, and you are getting 17 grams of complete protein. Complete meaning the type of protein that's in, say, a quinoa, which is the best protein for your body. They have a vanilla, unflavored, coconut and chocolate i have all of them i love them this chocolate is probably my favorite chocolate based protein powder i've ever had and i know it says plant protein but i promise you there's no chalkiness or grittiness that plant protein has it is absolutely incredible i don't know how they do it but good job live well i do have 10 percent off for you guys i'll put that here on the screen and link it down below take advantage of it they are the nicest company their protein powder is the best i've ever had it's all i really use now i'll go through the other brands that i have but this is my ride or die my go-to and then to make it a Reese's, I add two tablespoons of this Lakanto peanut butter powder. I'll link this down below for you guys as well. You can buy it right off of Amazon. Two tablespoons is 1.50 calories, and it gives you an extra six grams of protein for only 50 calories. If you're looking for a good protein boost, powdered peanut butter, if you're trying to say points or calories, is a great option because you get a lot of protein point bank for your buck. Yes. So that is what is in my Reese's. It's literally those four ingredients and it tastes like a Reese's. So I'll get this blended up. I'll be back to show you my protein shake. And there it is. Doesn't that look amazing? It literally looks and tastes like a chocolate peanut butter milkshake. I am not kidding. And you guys, this entire protein shake aka milkshake aka Reese's is three points one for the almond milk one for the protein powder one for the peanut butter three points you guys for literally a Reese's peanut butter milkshake with protein I wanted to show you guys this you can see that I have scooped all of the jambalaya into a bowl here on my food scale I get a lot of questions on how do you figure out what eight servings is how do I know out of this big crock pot that I'm eating one serving out of six or eight or however many servings it makes so what I do is I take it a bowl put it on my food scale I zero my food scale out with the empty bowl on it then I fill the bowl with my dinner so I've emptied the entire crock pot into a bowl this weighs a total of 2596 grams so i take that number and divide that by the number of servings so in the case of my jambalaya it's eight so i take 2596 divide it by eight and that is how many grams i get per serving so hopefully that helps you guys out that way you're not overeating you're really truly dividing it into eight servings so here is dinner so i measured out on my food scale 324.5 grams is one eighth of the whole bag. So that is four smart points on both blue and the purple plan and five points on green. So all of that for four or five points. If you substituted a zero point rice on purple, you could get this down to one smart point per serving. And that is 211 calories for the jambalaya. And then of course I have some peas as well. So my dinner is going to be four smart points total and 211 calories plus the peas. So here is my dessert for tonight. I'm gonna have one of the Cleo bars, as always, in strawberry. This is my second favorite flavor, along with the vanilla. So these are six smart points, and they are only 140 calories, and they have eight grams of protein, which is great for a sweet treat. So this is going to be my dessert and the final thing I'm eating for today. Thank you so much for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all of my food and that delicious dinner recipe. Don't forget that is on my website, and the link for my website is down in the description box, as well as the link to come join my Facebook group, discount codes, and links to all my favorite things, so definitely check out that description box. If you love today's video, give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And of course, make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel so that you can take part in all of the fun videos that I put out. I do meal preps on Mondays, what I eat on Wednesdays, grocery hauls on Saturdays, weigh-ins on Fridays. There's just tons of fun happening, so make sure you're part of this community. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.